Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well, and welcome to a little tour somewhere I've never ridden before. I'm in the German Alps in Bavaria, to be precise. Stick around, stay tuned, let's go for a bit of a ride. Okay, so where exactly do you find me today? Well, I'm in the hotel at the moment. We're just about to leave uh, for a ride around the Bavarian Alps. Let me just quickly show you on the map where we are. This is uh, a map of southern Germany. Uh, we're down here just uh, near Munich at the moment, and what we're going to be doing is picking up some bikes in Munich from BMW, in fact, uh, and then we're going to ride across uh, this way towards um, this uh, sort of lake type place uh, down some amazing roads through the Bavarian Alps just touching into Austria and then back round again doesn't look very far but that is I think probably about a 200 mile run uh, I think I'm going to be riding a BMW S1000RR I'll tell you a bit more about why I'm here and why I'm riding that bike etc uh, when we get going but next time you see me I'll be on the bike so here we are at BMW in Munich and as you can see they've got quite a bit of stock in the garages here we're just picking up the various bikes. So I'll show you some of the bikes and uh, introduce you to some of the chaps. Uh, these are the chaps that we're going to be riding with. Uh, so over here, this is Alan. He's on an XR. Have you ridden an XR before, sir? Excellent. Uh, this is John. He's also on an XR, an XR owner. So you know what you're doing with that. So you're the boys to follow for me. I'm on an XR. I haven't ridden one for ages. This is the, uh, the new flavour. So it'll be interesting to see how the vibes have done. Sorry, Ben, I'm going to get in my uh, film. So you're on the uh, S1000R, S1000 oh, yeah. you've obviously yeah, run one of those before. I haven't, thank you. Have you not? Oh well, it's, it's particularly right. blingy this one, isn't it? It's very Can we have a little yeah. bling? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, so have a look. So this is apparently was a show bike. <laughs> so, so, we reckon. Pipe. Check that out. Some uh, semi-soft panniers. Yeah. As opposed to semi-hard. Yeah, semi yeah. Semi okay, yeah, yeah. Some carbon blingy bits. Yeah. Looks fair. Yeah. Rear yeah. How much do you reckon one of these would cost you if you had one spec like that? Quite a lot more than I can afford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I won't be following you then because you'll be gone. <laughs> Excellent. I love the look of this R9 too. Look at that. Dan's been spoiled for that. And if you're a regular viewer, you might recognise this man. This is Dan. Dan the man. No black pudding today. <laughs> but what you have got to say is this incredible beast, haven't you? It may have made up for it. So uh, what we hear, it's R90 obviously, but it's some fancy version, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's the R90. I think it's the Pure. Right. Uh, which is, uh, anyway, it's, it's the uh, really stripped back version. And it just looks, looks cool, doesn't business, it? Doesn't it? Yeah. So what have we got here then? So uh, a fancy little... paint job. Yeah, fancy paint job with a lovely little bit of brushed aluminium. Oh, nice, lovely. nice. Don't drop it, don't actually, drop it. Actually, the view, if you just go around to the yeah. rider's position, okay. you just get a bit of a view, because that is, that is a seat with a view. Oh, look at that, actually, it just yeah, looks that's... Really, it looks like a proper motorcycle, doesn't it? It does. With some lovely little, just a touch of anodized, nothing too blingy, it's all done in the it's best right, possible it's taste. Best, I mean, this is the, when I think of you, I think of this bike. <laughs> it, it could not be more you, could it? <laughs> <laughs> It, need, it needs to be me because if I fall off it, it's going to cost a thousand euros. Yeah, yeah, let's so not, let's not do that. One. Let's not do that. Uh, and it's got right. into grips. There they are. Look at that. Those will be on today, I think. So a concession. Yeah, yeah, That's a good concession one. Good one. And look at that exhaust. That exhaust pipe is naughty. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely little. Okay, so we've uh, left BMW. There, we're out on the road. We're on the motorways, trying to make our way out of Munich. Just in front of me. Uh, we can see, uh, well, in fact, we've got an RT and two XRs. On the front RT is Stefan. I haven't introduced you to him yet. He works for Dr. Vac, who's the company that's uh, hosting us here in Germany today. And then we've got uh, Alan, who's a freelance journalist. Who you met, uh, he's a Scottish guy. And we've got John in front of me. He's from uh, Bennett's Bike Social, both on the XRs. I mean, what's his truck doing? And then behind me somewhere, I can't see them in the mirror. I fear our system is already broken down, and it might be my fault. Uh, we've got the rest of the crew on various BMWs, of course. So we're heading uh, west, out of Munich, heading towards a lake that, uh, I can't remember what the German name is, but it's kind of known as the Bavarian Sea. It's a big old lake uh, for a coffee stop, which will be nice. Mostly there uh, on motorway, so I won't record too much of this leg. Uh, and then after that, after the coffee stop, we're going to head on down uh, into the Bavarian Alps proper. I think we're going to even touch into Austria very briefly, uh, and then some mountain rides. Uh, and it should be a cracking day, weather's set fair. Not particularly warm at the moment. Uh, what's the old uh, thermometer saying? 11 degrees centigrade outside. But there's no rain in the forecast, I'm glad to say. Been a long time since I rode the S1000XR. I rode one when they, just after they first came out, it must be a couple of years ago now. The bike hasn't changed much since I rode it. It's not been updated yet with things like the shift cam engine and the new TFT, which I suspect will be in the next incarnation. 
the changes they have made were done to kind of address the vibe, something I complained about when I rode the bike originally. Uh, they've put some different engine mountings, I think some rubber mountings around the place to try and stop some of the vibes that people were complaining about. I have to say it hasn't fixed it completely, I can still feel some high frequency vibes, they're not terribly obtrusive but I don't know, it might be enough to put me off the bike still. Having said that, on the plus side the engine is just absolutely beautiful on this. Four cylinder of course so it's much more urgent sounding than anything I'm used to. So here we are, I'm doing 70 kilometres an hour on the motorway, I'm in top gear and the engine sounds fairly well, not that relaxed. It always feels like I want to change up gear on this, but of course I'm already in top gear, but that's just the nature of four-cylinder four engines. But it's certainly got a load to go compared to the boxer engines that I'm used to riding with. Anyway, for the next, uh, I don't know, I guess probably about an hour we're going to be on the motorway, so not very interesting. I'll uh, catch up with you again when we get uh, towards our coffee stop and hopefully some uh, bit more interesting countryside. Speak to you then. Okay, wind forward uh, 45 minutes or so, and just in the distance, I don't know if you can see the Alps now, just uh, underneath some clouds, it looks spectacular. Just settling into the way the bike feels, so I have to say those vibes actually, I've not been thinking about them, they are there, but they're not at all, as I say, a problem, so I think that uh, you can tick that issue off now, vibes not a problem on the XR. What I have been impressed with actually, is something I didn't think I would be, is this little screen, I thought it would be a bit rubbish, but uh, I've got this in the lower position, you can adjust it manually up and down. Uh, and in fact, I'm just in uh, clean air. It does a remarkable good job of keeping you uh, out of turbulent air. So it's a very comfortable place to be here actually at motorway speeds. Sun's coming out now as well, which is rather nice. All is well with the world. Now this trip, I can't remember if I've mentioned already, but it's uh, sponsored, paid for by a company called Dr. Vac which are a company based just outside of uh, Munich, just north of Munich. They make all sorts of cleaning products for bikes, including S-Dock chain lube and things like bike cleaner. And uh, over the last day, we've been looking around the laboratories, checking out how they test the products and how they develop the various formulas. It's fascinating seeing how these things are done. These companies that make their own uh, care products don't just, uh, you know, come up with some dodgy cleaning stuff they bought from China and slap the label on and off they go but they take great care of making sure the formulations do what they say on the tin they don't uh, do any harm to your bike whatsoever they spend a great deal of time testing the various formulations to make sure they don't do any harm to aluminiums and steels and plastics and all sorts of temperatures and environments and it's been a fascinating uh, day yesterday looking at how that's all done Today is the fun day out on this ride. It's just a great opportunity to get one of these rare rides in a part of the world that I wouldn't probably otherwise get to ride in. So thank you to Dr. Vac and Co for inviting me along to this little uh, press ride. Okay, now hopefully the GoPro is showing that magnificent mountain ahead, starting to get down to the more interesting scenery. Busy old part of the world though, with the traffic on this. Uh, motorway. It's a Tuesday morning that we're filming this and it feels a bit like riding in the southeast of England. Hopefully it will uh, thin out when we get onto more mountainous and interesting roads. We'll see. All right, speed you soon. Okay, well I'm glad to say we've uh, just left the motorway and uh, coming now into what looked to be some more interesting surroundings. Nothing wrong with the motorway. Service was very nice. Traffic kept moving. It was just a motorway. They're seldom interesting. This looks more like it though, some nice sweepers, good road surfaces, lovely scenery, sun's out. Four bikes ahead of me and I think uh, three behind me. We've got some loose rules on this uh, ride out, which already we've broken slightly in that there's uh, no overtaking. And then the other rule is that uh, if you take a turn you can't see the person behind you, then you'll just stop. Uh, he said, just looking to check that there are people behind me, which there are. So all is well. We're heading off, as I say, to this inland sea. I think it's called something like Chemsee, C-H-I-E-M-S-E-E. -E -E. Going to Stefan, our leader up at the front, uh, it's known as the Bavarian Sea. It's basically a big inland lake just at the foot of the Alps here. That's where we're going to get our coffee stop. So this place, Fellara. Unfortunately, I haven't caught a glimpse of what road we're on, so I can't even show you on the map where we are. 
said that, I'll look up Fellerer, F-E-L-L-E-R-E-R, -E -E -R. I think that's how it's pronounced or spelled. Nice looking town with a nice characterful little church here that we should see in a second behind this tree, there we are. With like a double tower affair going on. What I've noticed these last couple of days since I've been in Germany is just how clean and efficient everything is. It's uh, completely in keeping with its national stereotype. Very efficient, very clean, like it. As ever, the GoPro won't be uh, doing justice to this tremendous scenery. Amazing uh, mountains up ahead, steep-sided. Sort of granite, granite outcrops at the top. We're not that far from the Austrian border now. And uh, places I know from skiing, like Kitzbühel, is just over the border. This time of year where the temperature starts to drop. Gets me thinking about those other outdoor pursuits, particularly in places like this. Blimey, a bit of a traffic situation. Obviously a popular spot with the walking set. Look like they're serious. Quite busy on a Tuesday lunchtime. I say it every time I come on a European ride out, but uh, we're so lucky in Europe with the uh, just the diversity of riding we have. It's an amazing landscape, it's not that far from home. Look at this, just absolutely spectacular and so totally different to anything that we get back in Blighty. Amazing plants and flowers still out here. Green and Verdant Valley, look at that castle up there, that's amazing. I don't think I've ever been to this part of Germany before. I've tended to be to the northern, more industrial areas. Cologne, Berlin, places like that. But this is absolutely beautiful down here. One thing I do like about this bike is the quick shifter. It just works so silky smooth. They work so much better on four-cylinder bikes. The quick shifter or the gear shift assist pro as BMW call it on the GS is just so agricultural in comparison. It's slightly better on the current uh, GS 1250s but on my 1200 the uh, gear assist pro is pretty flipping agricultural whereas on here it's as smooth as you like both up and down the box. It's a joy, particularly on roads like this. What an absolutely cracking day for it. We have so lucked out with the weather. It would be nice if it was a few degrees warmer perhaps, but uh, the heat grips are looking after me well. I've said before that uh, I don't much like riding in groups. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't tend to come out on the things like these press rides that occasionally when you're in the YouTube game you get invited to. So I tend to turn them down, but this one was just in a spot that uh, you don't often get asked to come to. And I do love the Alps, so I couldn't resist, so uh, I weakened and came on this one, because <laughs> I just love riding places like this. It just doesn't get any better, does it, really? Although we could do with overtaking this car, it has to be said. The XR feels very different in the corners. That's what I'm used to. I'm not sure if it's just this bike or whether the tyres are a bit strange on the front, but it feels like it wants to tip in a little bit at the front end. Not horrendously so, just enough for me to notice and pay attention to. Right, Grattenbach is where we are, if you're following on the back. G-R-A-T-T-E-N-B-A-C-H. It's a cracking road, or would be, if we would lose this car. Mind you, you can't fault the scenery. Right, we've lost the car, I'm glad to say. There's some amazing Alpine chalets we just came past. Unfortunately, I didn't have the uh, camera rolling, as is ever the case. I'm sure we'll be passing more. It's very much feeling now like we are in, uh, in the Alps proper. Another thing I do like about this XR is the way the engine sounds. Not only is it very eager, but it sounds sweet when you wander on. So it's just like to stand up actually. I do like to stretch their legs sometimes when I'm on tour. Actually, yeah, very balanced. Nice, gives you the chance to stretch your legs. 
Looks like this could be a little coffee stop. Not seeing any inland seas, but uh, <laughs> let's see how this works. <laughs> Gonna stay. Oh, splendid. Oh, this is a splendid spot. Check that out. Right, coffee time. This will do. Right, a bit of local cuisine. Sorry, Stefan, what were you saying this is called? Uh, Sachertorte. And it's a Austrian. Typical Austrian cake. And what makes it typical Austrian, would you say? Oh. Gooiness? Uh, I think that, that S. The S, is that it? <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> it comes, I think it comes from Vienna. Nice. Yeah, Looks yeah. good. But this one is made, I think, here. Fair news. <laughs> More food inbound. Are you weren't here when she went there? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. Excellent. Oh, wow, look at that. Also, the small, small one. Really. Thank you. It's got jelly. It's got jelly on top. <laughs> oh, I know. It's got everything I like. I think yours has got a bit more girth than mine, if I may say. <laughs> I held your knee in a rather alarming manner. <laughs> well, that was a splendid little uh, coffee stop there. And an absolutely beautiful spot as well. And the uh, weather has turned out really, really lovely. Tried a few local specialities as you do. And uh, time to hit the road again. Right, moving out. After you, jump. Ah! Oh. Oops, get the right gear, that'd be good. Well, what absolutely perfect riding weather now. Beautiful. Now, I was talking to Stefan at the break there, who's a leader up front on the uh, GS. And he was saying, in fact, we're not going to do the Bavarian Sea now. Uh, we were a little bit left, uh, we left Munich a little bit later than we anticipated. It would have added an extra hour onto the journey, wanting to get us to this Alpine bit. So, fair enough. So, we're not going to see the Inland Sea. I'll save that for another time. But look at this, how gorgeous is this? What an absolute bonus this is. And a tonic for the troops. Well, this troop in particular. Here we see some of these alpine chalets I was talking about earlier. Absolutely gorgeous. The remnants up there in the mountain, you probably can't see of where there used to be a glacier. Let's hope there's nothing uh, too sinister about the fact there isn't one there now. Well, how fortunate am I? This is absolutely lovely. So it looks like we've got everybody behind us. And here's the border with Austria. Republic Österreich. Ta-da! Woo! And where the border post used to be, <laughs> now a fuel station. I assume that's what that is. Well, that's not bad. Germany and Austria in one day. Like it. By oh, the way, the traffic lights actually got a little countdown. Look, three seconds to changing to uh, green. How civilised is that? Okay, here we go then, chaps. Oh, hello. Bit of a rock slide there. Hence the lights. Must be a fairly constant battle in these sorts of countries that uh, have the potential for that. To keep the roads clear. Oh, it's one of those Brucey moments. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Another couple of months, and that'll all be covered in snow. I've got to get me out here to the Alps at some point and do myself a proper tour. I've glanced it a few times in the last uh, few months. I need to come out and do my own thing for a week or two. It's just absolutely cracking out here. Now I'm going to get a chance to see how the old XR handles these twisties a bit better. The cornering does feel a little bit odd on this particular bike. I don't know if I've got uh, a wear issue with the front tyre or something. It feels like it wants to fall into the corners a little bit more than I'd like, but... Uh, it might just be me. Wow, this valley just gets better and better. Look at that for a view. Fabulous light this time of year. It's very early autumn, back end of summer, and it's got that sort of uh, 
I don't know, it's difficult to describe what the light's like. I don't suppose the GoPro's doing it uh, justice, but it just looks beautiful out here at the moment. Come on, Stefan, go for it. He is a good man. What a road. Looks like there's a 60k uh, speed limit here. Not sure how hot the Austrians are on uh, speed limits. So I'm not going to be going too nuts. Well, what a cute spot. Oh, bit of hairpinage. Yeah, that's where I could feel the bike really wanting to tip in. Mum to sort of fight it round. It might just be a matter of getting used to it. Once you're aware it's there, you can manage it. Sebi. S-E-B-I. See if I can find that on the map. And you'll see that we're only just into Austria. We're just uh, sort of tickling the northern <laughs> part of the border. And we won't be in Austria for long, actually. We're heading back into Germany again. But it's something you can tick off the list, isn't it? It's how you've done Austria. What a bizarre thing that is. Like a sort of a maypole thing with other bits on it. I <laughs> have no idea what that's about. But why not? And another lovely little church, look at that. Gradovert. These places have such a different character in the summer, or rather I should say not in the depths of winter. I usually come to these more alpine spots in skiing season. And I love them then, but uh, there is something to be said for coming when it's sunny and warm as well. Hello, sir. Okay, crossing the river here. It looks like we're coming back into Deutschland. Bundesrepublik of Deutschland. That was it for, uh, for Austria. Very nice it was too. Note to self. Must come back and explore more. Just a little taster of what this has got to offer today. And I'd definitely like to try more, I've decided. Alrighty, winding up now into uh, the German Alps. Looks like we're heading into slightly more twisty territory again. Ag, AGG. Apparently we're in for a bit of a treat for the lunch stop. Well, to be honest, the coffee stop was a bit of a treat. Cracking bit of uh, cakey flan stuff had. So I need to think hungry thoughts now. Well, this is rather nice. This is where the note of this engine is just great. In fact, I'm thinking in these slightly twisty bits, leaving her in third actually be quite a good idea, you don't have to use the brakes so much, you can just roll off and uh, use the engine braking. It still feels a bit more in control. Well it just gets better and better. Stunning views, amazing little churches still, cracking light. And although the roads have got narrower, the riding is really cracking. Check out those flowers. Roads are getting ever more narrow and ever more twisty. But stunning, as you can see. Try 
lucky, I'm glad Stefan knows where he's going. <laughs> we are well off the beaten track now. He's got somewhere specific in mind for lunch, so uh, maybe that's where we're heading. We keep climbing, the temperature is uh, definitely taking a little tumble now. My word, I'm not going to look over that edge. Oh yes I will. Wow. Hello, bit of livestock in the road. Just coming through madam, don't mind us. Just coming through. Please don't do anything nasty, just coming through, thank you. Hello madam, hello. Hello. <laughs> That's something you see every day. Just about to go under a ski lift. Always something weird about seeing ski lifts when there's no snow about. Thank you sir, or madam. Just trying to visualise this covered in snow in the winter. Oh yeah, there's all sorts of drag lifts down there. We're right amongst the pistes now. I dare say this road is a ski run in the winter. I wonder if the uh, restaurant that uh, Stefan's got in mind is actually a ski restaurant, as it were. Another little drag lift there, we just passed. What an absolute cracker this road is. Gosh, my ears are popping as we keep climbing. Some chaps behind us, or a couple of them. More ski lifts. Looks like we're coming to the limit of the tree line very soon. Well, I've certainly never ridden up a ski uh, resort before. That I know of. Little reservoir there. Helicopter up the top for a bit of medivac purposes. Ooh, I wonder if this is uh, this is our stop. Looks like it possibly is. A lever in gear. Well, this is a rather splendid spot. Let's go and have a look over here. How did you find that, Dan? Good, wasn't it? It was bendy, wasn't what it? And amazing. there were cows with cowbells oh, in the middle of the road. It's actually some bona fide snow capped mountains here. How cool is that then? It's very cool. Isn't that nice? The cows with bells are cute, but I think after an hour or so they'd. <laughs> yeah, 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 indeed. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, exactly. That, that was a first for me though, riding through cows, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Some actual snow capped mountains over there, look. Yep. Probably can't see it on the GoPro, but uh, <laughs> they're there. Take it from us. It, there's snow. Gorgeous. A bit cooler up here as well. My well, ears were popping going up that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. Pop with earplugs in. No, I know. Because <laughs> it lunchtime already. <laughs> it's always lunchtime. <laughs> well, what an absolutely cracking spot this is here. Had a fantastic lunch. Best goulash soup I've had for a long time. Really nice. It's nice and warm now. Set, fit, ready for the ride back. Can't wait. Well, that was a splendid little stop. Top lunch. A few snaps. The weather now is absolutely perfect. Not sure what the temperature is. But uh, even up here, it must be 18, 20 degrees. It's just lovely riding weather. A bit of helicopter action below us. It's pretty cool. for the ski season perhaps. <laughs> it's just something bizarre about riding down a ski slope in the summer. It's like we're all present and correct behind. String of bikes. Right, so I think we're in for about uh, another hour and a half's ride to get back to uh, Munich. 
a few more twisters and then uh, back on the motorway let's see what this leg brings well it's been great to be back in the mountains again can't beat the mountains for feel good factor it's just good for the soul to be up in the mountains I think a real stress buster I love it road service here is absolutely appalling mind you but the scenery sure does make up for it Back onto the more major roads now, an absolute cracker. The surface is much nicer here again. A little bit of traffic to contend with, but uh, beautiful ride. Pretty popular with motorcyclists, as we can see. As usual, I find myself having to drink this in because uh, another couple of days I shall be back home in Blighty. Well, I don't think it's going to be as sunny and warm as this. Certainly the roads won't be as nice. Wonder where my next two-wheel adventure will take me. Well, it's been a cracking day's riding. I'm not sure how much more battery I've got left of the old GoPro, so uh, I'm going to wind it up just in case. As I say, we've only got about an hour to ride now back to Munich, and uh, once we're through this bit of uh, Alp, then we're back onto the motorway so it won't be very interesting but I must just say thank you again to the guys from uh, Dr Wack for sponsoring this video for bringing us out here and uh, thank you to all my riding buddies that's Alan up front great to meet you and to John from uh, Bennett's in front of me bike social and behind me we've got Ben from MCN great meeting you chaps hopefully uh, I'll get to see you to ride some other time And not forgetting uh, Wayne from Motorhouse, who's uh, bringing up the rear. Stefan, our leader. And of course, Dan, who I'm sure we'll be seeing more of on the channel as we do more biker scrams with Jeff and Dan. Do stay tuned for those. Right, that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed that. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mist and Flyer. Cheerio.